You might have seen movies or television shows where the police identify criminals with the help of fingerprints. Similarly, an electron in an atom can be identified with the help of a unique set of four quantum numbers associated with it. Let's see what they are. Quantum numbers are any sets of integers or half integers that characterize the properties and energy states of an electron. There are four types. Principal quantum number, n. Azimuthal or angular momentum quantum number, l. Magnetic quantum number, ml. And spin quantum number, ms. According to Bohr's assumptions, electrons move around the nucleus in definite paths known as orbits or shells. These are also known as energy levels. They are represented by the principal quantum number, n, where n can have any non-zero positive integer value. The shell for which the value of n is 1 is called the k-shell. The shell for which the value of n is 2 is called the L-shell and so on. The value of n determines the distance of the electron from the nucleus. For example, an electron for which the value of n is 2 is further away from the nucleus than that for which the value of n is 1. The value of n also determines the energy of the electron in a given orbit. Energy of an electron increases with an increase in the value of n. Thus, an electron for which the value of n is 3 possesses more energy than an electron for which n is equal to 1. Each shell has a certain capacity to hold a maximum number of electrons, which is given by the formula 2n square, where n is the principal quantum number. For example, the K shell has the principal quantum number 1 and can therefore hold a maximum of 2 electrons. The L shell has the principal quantum number 2 and can hold a maximum of 8 electrons. The M shell has n is equal to 3 and can hold a maximum of 18 electrons and so on. Azimuthal or angular momentum quantum number L. Each of these shells is further divided into subshells. Those subshells are represented by another quantum number called the azimuthal or angular momentum quantum number. This is denoted by L. The first shell has no subshells and hence for the first shell L is equal to zero. It is also called the S subshell. The second shell is divided into two subshells S and P. Here L is equal to zero represents the S subshell while for the P subshell L is equal to one. The third shell that is the M shell has three subshells called S, P and D. For these the value of L are zero, one and two respectively. In the same manner, the fourth shell is divided into S, P, D and F subshells, each having a value of L is equal to 0, 1, 2 and 3 respectively. Thus, in general, for each principal quantum number n, the value of L ranges from 0 to n minus 1. To understand these two quantum numbers better, let's find out the values for n and l for the highlighted electron. As you can see, it lies in the third orbit, hence n equals 3. And it lies in the d subshell of the third shell. The value of l for this electron is 2. It is denoted by 3d. Among these subshells, the f subshell has the maximum energy followed by D, then P, while the S subshell has the least energy. Like every shell, each subshell also has a certain maximum capacity to hold electrons, which is given by 2 times 2L plus 1. For any of the S subshells, L equals 0. Hence, its capacity to hold electrons is 2 times 2 into 0 plus 1 which is 2. 
The P subshell can hold a maximum of 6 electrons. Similarly, the D subshell can hold a maximum of 10 electrons, while the F subshell can hold a maximum of 14 electrons. The remaining two quantum numbers will be discussed in the subsequent topic. To summarize, quantum numbers are any sets of integers or half integers that characterize the properties and energy states of an electron. There are four types. Principal quantum number N, azimuthal or angular momentum quantum number L, magnetic quantum number ML, and spin quantum number ms. The principal quantum number represents the main shells of an atom labeled k, l and so on. It denotes the distance and the energy of that electron from the nucleus. It also indicates the maximum capacity of the shell to hold the electrons through the formula 2n square. The azimuthal quantum number represents different subshells of a given shell such as S, P, D, F and so on. The order of energy of these subshells is as shown. The capacity of the subshell to hold electrons is given by the formula 2 into 2L plus 1. We discussed 2 out of the 4 quantum numbers. What is the significance of the remaining two quantum numbers in the atomic structure? Stay tuned to find out in our upcoming video. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.